looks everything new under the sun. This is going to be an unbox of a weird item. This is something I needed uh, for our camper to do some uh, sewing in it. And our big sewing machine wasn't really working at the time. So I thought, uh, why not try one of these really simp simple uh, sewing machines, handheld, and see how they work. Now, they they look pretty cheap. They are pretty cheap. You know, they're all made in China. And there's various off uh, uh, brands of basically exact same design, um, just without the singer name. So this has, you know, the uh, of course, the fancy singer name to it. But you can buy uh, no-name units of these, which look uh, basically exactly the same uh, for the same price. It's about... I think it's twenty or thirty dollars. It's really, really cheap for what it is. Um, made by Singer, or at least sponsored by Singer. Stitch so quick, handheld cordless mending machine, and uh, you can put some uh, various bobbins on it. You can even put a full-size bobbin on the end of it, which is kind of nice. It's very simple in its operation. It takes uh, four double A's, and I'll show you all that. It includes uh, three uh, bobbins. Well, it shows you what it includes right there. Three bobbins, uh, um, a thread puller because you need that thread puller not to thread the needle necessarily, but to actually tie off the end because this doesn't have a bottom bobbin, so you actually have to knot the end of it, otherwise the, the thread will just pull straight out and uh, completely ruin your stitch. comes with an, some extra needles, which is very nice, and it comes with an extra long uh, bobbin holder so you can put a longer uh, bobbin on it. That's pretty much it. It's pre-threaded. Th pre um, there was a little piece of uh, material that was already sewn from the factory, so that's kind of nice. Kind of that they kind of got it going for you and, and and proved that it worked by having a little patch of fabric kind of stuck in it, uh, so you could see it that it uh, was tested and working. Um, you can use bobbins and standard thread spools. That's kind of nice. It's really simple to thread, really basic, a lot less complicated than a full out sewing machine. So let's open it up and see what we get here. Now this comes in a, a, a proper package, of course, which I've taken out. So here is the unit here. Here is your bag of goodies. You get a three bobbins, three different colors, red, black, and blue. You get your thread puller and your extra long or standard bobbin uh, post, which goes right there, if you can see it. <clears throat> this, uh, this arm is what uh, manually uh, puts the, the arm up and down, this, this uh, a dial. Um, and that's so you can pull it out. It basically puts it uh, up so so you can get the material material out. The on-off switch is here, uh, so it does have a locking position, so you don't have to hold this all the time. Um, let's see, oh, here it is going there. So that's kind of the noise. Um, again, this is not a push button. Uh, you can kind of use it like that, but you can kind of lock it in place and keep it going. It has a DC input for 6 volts at 800 milliamps if you don't want to use batteries, but it does have, take uh, four double A's basically. And I think anything you'd be using this for, four double A's would be plenty. <clears throat> I went for the Singer versus the non name brand just because I thought, well, maybe there's a chance uh, it is a little better quality or comes with better quality attachments. I don't know if that's the case. Made in China. Uh, PRC, People's Republic of China, I think it stands for. I could be wrong. Uh, fairly easy to thread. You just uh, thread it up through this hole, down through the tensioner. There is a tensioner there. I didn't touch any of that. It's kind of factory set. A uh, little knob here so you can uh, take the needles in and out and replace them. And then you've got your, your little foot there. And this does actually have teeth that move the, uh, the fabric through, uh, which is Nice. I didn't think it had that. Uh, I guess you know any any proper sewing machine would need that, but uh, it's kind of nice to have. Uh, it basically, this auto auto feeds itself, so that's nice. As for the manual, you get a very basic paper manual. It's straightforward. It tells you how to uh, thread it. It also tells you how you're supposed to lock the thread after you're done with the little thread puller, and you got to kind of knot off or sew a uh, manually tie off the end of your fabric otherwise that that thread will just come out because there's no bottom bobbin uh, locking it in place um, but it works pretty well um, now I'm left-handed this kind of goes the uh, opposite direction for me but I have this paper here so I'll just uh, demonstrate this is a white thread so I'll demonstrate so what you're supposed to do is you put the needle up to the top and then you pull up the uh, the foot here 
which is hard to do uh, when you don't have three hands because you're holding the material and trying to hold the unit at the same time and get this in. And the other thing that you're supposed to do is uh, make sure you have some thread at the back, otherwise uh, it will uh, come out. And this is it. Uh, so basically you press the button and it goes. Now sometimes you have to help it if it can't move the fabric. And then what you do is you, you cut this off. And there are no scissors handy. Um, you see if you pull it, it just comes right out. That's why you have to tie it at the end. If you, I can keep pulling it and it just uh, it just comes right out. Um, but like I say, if you tie it off in the end, it won't do that. <clears throat> Break the thread there. So that was it. That was paper. I have uh, sewn uh, jean material, so jeans. It goes through that. Not a, not a big problem. I haven't had too much trouble with it skipping uh, threads, skipping um, some sew spots, but um, to be honest, I haven't uh, sewed that much with it. But I put a couple patches into uh, jean material, and that seemed to, to work out well. It's got some weight to it, partially because of the batteries, uh, but also, I mean, all inside is a metal mechanism. It, it seems to have enough power for most of what you're going to be doing. Um, I did uh, sew cardboard as an example for this, just to try it. And, of course, it will do any thin material uh, really easily. So I did do the thick G material. I'm probably going to try uh, sewing a hockey bag up next with this. It's really handy because you don't always want to necessarily pull your big sewing machine out and use that. Sometimes you just need a quick uh, stitch. And as long as you don't mind uh, tying it up at, after, you know, at the end of your, your uh, sewing job so that it doesn't just pull out, uh, then this works really well. So for quick jobs, for hemming, um, such as in a camper or something, uh, emergency repairs, um, this absolutely does a job. It's a little slow, um, but it seems to just work. Of course, you don't have the pedal to make it go faster. So again, for the for the small jobs where you don't want to, the hassle of pulling a large sewing machine out and trying to thread up all the bobbins, etc. Um, this is a really quick way to do it. So, I this had a lot of bad reviews on Amazon, and I gotta say, for twenty bucks that I paid for it, twenty or thirty by the time tax and such was on it, I mean, for your money, it works. And a lot of people said it didn't work, but I, I I had good luck with it. You have to be patient with it. You have to kind of understand what it's doing and um, not force the material through, etc. And tie off your ends like you don't have to do on a regular sewing machine. But all that being said, um, you know, as long as you set your expectations, for 20 30 bucks, I mean, this works. It does work. I've uh, confirmed it works. I'll get some material and I'll show you that. There we go. I kind of had to give it a little pull to get it going here. There you can see the stitch. Can't really see the back stitch. Anyways, there's hooks or loops on the uh, the back side there. Um, so all in all, it is skipping some. It uh, worked a lot better for me actually the first time 
I used it. It's not uh, cooperating today, but I did sew material with it. I sewed a couple of items, and they worked well. I, I sewed some pocket and jeans, and I think if you you get the right material, you have some patience, um, then this uh, does work. It's not the best machine, but I mean, for the money you're paying for it, uh, it seems to have worked for me. Although this has been bad luck trying to demonstrate to you, uh, for whatever reason, it doesn't want to work today. Uh, but when it's going and it has the right tempo, you don't want to pull push or pull because then it'll start skipping um, and you want probably a fresh set of batteries that's the only thing I would say so again for 20 bucks I think you can you can certainly make this thing uh, do what you need it to do and for small repairs as long as you're happy to kind of fiddle with it a little bit um, then uh, it certainly it certainly will sew um, but obviously it's not as good as uh, a full sewing machine that you would pay hundreds of dollars for so you, you get what you pay for uh, but for quick jobs um, I've had luck with this in the actual jobs that I was attempting to accomplish. So that's all I'll say about that. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.